Hello friends, welcome back to the Selenium Tutorials. Up till now we have understood how to identify elements with the help of XPath. We have seen the difference between an absolute XPath and a relative XPath. In this tutorial we would be covering what are partial XPaths. Basically there are two kinds of partial XPath. One which uses the keyword contains and the other which uses the keyword starts with. I have created a separate tutorial for the partial XPath which uses the keyword contains. In this session, we would be discussing on the partial XPath which uses the keyword starts with. So we'll start that. So first of all, I would like to explain the syntax of this partial XPath. So as you can see on the screen, it uses this keyword which is highlighted now starts hyphen with. It takes two parameters. The first parameter is the HTML attribute of the field under test and the second parameter is the start starting text because we are using starts with this text should be the starting text of the html attribute under test i would explain this with the help of an example in a while and the first thing like here we have written type so type indicates what is the actual type of the web element under test so i know it would be confusing right now we'll decode this syntax with the help of an example so We'll go to gmail.com. So if I need to identify this email field with the help of a partial XPath with the starts with keyword, how to do that? So for that, I would be requiring help of Firebug. I am just activating Firebug on the top right hand corner. So Firebug has activated and I'm assuming that you also have Firepath installed. We would be actually using Firepath in this case. So what I'll do is I would click on this arrow icon on the Firebug and hover my mouse to this email id field the email id field would get highlighted below in blue it has done that and if you would see this id is an html attribute at the same time placeholder is an html attribute name is an html attribute spell check is an html attribute so now to identify this email id field i could use any of these html attributes say for example if we are using this id so how would it change my syntax so if i am using id what will happen is the first parameter i would just write id like this the at the rate character would remain as it is now second parameter starting text now what is this if i would go again to the firebug and i see id is equal to email which is e m a i l which in turn tell me tells me that email has the starting character as e m a so i could use e m a or e or e m as my starting text so I, what i to be safe i would use e m a because there could be other elements which would be there on the screen which begins from just e so to be safe i would be using the text as e m a so what i'll do in the second parameter i would provide e m a within single quotes it is case sensitive, it should be exactly like this as it is provided on this firebug screen. Now, what is this type? The type indicates what is the type of this email ID field. Now, in this case, the type is input. The first field over here, this is the type. If tomorrow you are using the partial X path on this above field, so your type in that case would be label. I am just highlighting. If tomorrow if you are applying to some other field which has this type as label then the first parameter would be label but in our case we are applying partial xpath on this email field so the type is input so i would provide input over here so that's it my partial xpath is ready now i need to test whether this partial xpath is correct or not it's very simple i would just copy this text Within fire path, if you could see this X path, in this text box, I would be just pasting it, pressing enter. Once I do that, if I click this highlight button now, if you could see on the top of your screen, the email ID field has been highlighted with these blue dots, which means my partial X path is correct. If it was not correct, then this highlight field would have become disabled. For example, if I just remove this e from here e from here and do an enter 
if you could see the highlight field has been disabled which means firebug is not able to find any element which starts with this text ma but if i just enter capital e over here repeat the same exercise press enter this highlight field gets enabled if i click over here it is highlighting over here on this email id field which means this x path is correct now we had used id in this case i could apply the partial x path starts with with any other html attribute for example if i take name the name value is also equal to email so if i just replace id with name then also this should work let's try i write name over there press enter and now if i do a highlight yes it is highlighting so we could use the html attribute name or id with the email field both should work in the previous example where i had explained partial xpath with contains i had used name so in this example we would use id so this is the id it is highlighting now i will actually use this partial xpath in my selenium script so let's go to eclipse we will repeat the same procedure create a new class by right clicking on the source folder new class give the class name as partial xpath underscore starts with since we are using start with i have just given a logical name select this option public static void main click on finish button the class would load the class has loaded here in the main function i would start writing my code the first step as always it is to create an object of the web driver class web driver obj driver this time the object name is obj driver is equal to new firefox driver these errors these errors would get resolved just hover to this and select the first option import web driver these options would come if you have correctly configured your java project with the web driver jar files if you do not remember please refer my one of my previous tutorials where i have explained configuration of java project with the web driver jar files if the project is not configured correctly you won't find these options over here once again like uh, this error was on firefox driver i just hovered my mouse over there selected this option import firefox driver so this error should also go it has gone now we'll navigate to gmail.com using the driver object so obj driver dot get here we would enter the url which is http www dot gmail dot com so this would open gmail dot com next step is we want to enter something in the email id field using the partial xpath so i would use this obj driver object dot find element i am using partial xpath so i would be using by xpath and here i would be providing the partial xpath expression which i have ready on my firebug so i am just copying this expression pasting it here now we want to enter something to enter something in the text box we have this send keys method i would enter any email test at gmail.com so our code is ready we have used partial xpath with starts with keyword in this case so let's execute the script and check whether this partial xpath works or not 
run as Java application. So you could see the browser has launched. Now it would navigate to gmail.com. Gmail.com page has opened. Now it would try to enter test at gmail.com in the text box field. Yes, it has done that, which means our XPath is correct. This script works. Our partial XPath, which uses the start with keyword, works. So we have successfully demonstrated that. Uh, just one point I would like to add over here is that we should use these partial XPaths both contains and starts with if we do not find any other option if your page is very dynamic and there is no other option but to use this partial XPath then only we should use them guys thanks for joining I will be creating more tutorials which in which I would be covering all the web element other web elements like drop down list radio list 